Hey, what's up everybody? Leonard Alvarez here with Buddy Effects, and today we're looking at the GVM 650B Pro and the Nanlite 720B. Two powerful bike color lights with similar specs and a few key differences. The Nanlite 720B is an 800 watt bike color light with an in-house rated CRI of 96 and TLCI of 97. It has a temperature range from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin and costs around $1899 at the time of making this video. The GVM 650B Pro, on the other hand, is a 650 watt bicolor light with an in house rating at 97 for both CRI and TLCI. Its temperature range goes from 2700 Kelvin to 6800 Kelvin and costs around $848. And they're both cob light fixture LEDs with similar builds. Now we've personally owned the Nanlite 720B for well over a year, probably closer to two years, and it's been our main light for most of what we do. When you're bouncing around light, going through layers of the fusion, or competing with the sun coming through large windows, having more output definitely can help in creating that soft source of light for your talent. Full transparency. The GVM 650B was sent to us for review, and as most YouTubers would say, uh, we're no exception, they do not have an influence on what we say and do not get to review the video before it's released. What you're seeing for the first time is what they're seeing for the first time but you know take that with a grain of salt because i think it's pretty cool that they sent us a light you know do your due diligence check out all the reviews and use that as your basis of comparison i will say with a short time that we've had this light it's been solid it's well built has great output and there are no weird quirks that we've noticed as for longevity that's tough to gauge but how everything feels i do genuinely think that this is a light that should last a while so, while they're both similar, they definitely have some differences as well. The 650B fixture is a tad bit chunkier, weighing around 15.2 pounds, and the 720B is a bit slimmer, weighing 11.5 pounds. The ballast for the 650B is much smaller, weighing around 6.2 pounds, and the 720B around 8.6 pounds. The IO for the 720B is at the top, which is preferred since it will allow the ballast to be placed on the floor and connected. The 650B, on the other hand, has its IO at the bottom, so you'll have to mount it on a stand first or lay it sideways before connecting. It's not a deal breaker though in my opinion I would prefer it to be at the top. Again both seem to have good build quality and I wouldn't really worry about the fan noise on any of these lights. Even though the 650B is heavier for the light fixture the biggest drawback out the box for me is its head cable. The length is 10.3 feet while the head cable for the Nanlite 720B is 16.4 feet which pretty much gives you an additional 6 feet between the light and the ballast. I personally think lights should come with longer head cables out the box or give you the option to purchase a different version. Say like a pro version that comes with a you know, longer lead cable, a better case and maybe a modifier for light like a Fresnel. I don't know, wishful options. Speaking about cases and Fresnels, the case you get for the 650B it's a case. It's nothing spectacular, but it'll work and I'm 100% okay with that given its price range. The 720B has a new bag that ships with it, which also has doubled up stitching as well as wheels and a pull handle for ease of use. I had the original case and it definitely fell apart. Actually, a lot of them fell apart. So fortunately, that's a thing of the past. For Fresnels, in particular the bones mount, there have been reported issues of the GVM bones mount being too deep to fit in all the modifiers. I can confirm that my modifiers do fit whether I'm using a projector, a Fresnel, or a softbox, but one thing I notice on location is the alignment is different. Take for instance this photo, BTS, I used the projector mount and you can see the GVM is pretty much sitting sideways. But it still works the same. If you want the best, most accurate representation of what the light can offer using a projector or Fresnel, well then typically it's a good practice to match branding. One thing I should mention, both lights have similar size screens. Nanlite's is black and white and GVM's is full color. It's not necessary since they're bicolor, but it's kind of a nice touch. More important than that is its dimming. The 650B is so much easier to dim the light up and down compared to the Nanlite and say the Aperture 600C. I find it very smooth and responsive when moving the dial faster, slower, or somewhere in between. It's great and it's by far the best dial I've used out of any light so far, even some airy lights. All right, now that we have a better understanding as to where these lights land, let's go ahead and break down some pros and cons. Pros for the Nanlite 720B. It has a longer head cable. It's got a better build quality. It is definitely brighter, has top aisle connections, and has a rolling case included. Cons, well, it costs more. The GVM 650B. Pros, it's price point of course, LED cover, 
better dimming control, great output still, the app is a bit more responsive. But of course, cons, the case, and the IO ports at the bottom, I definitely don't like those. At the end of the day, both these lights are freaking incredible. Like, I love them both. I've had that NAND light for closer to two years, and I still feel like it's a great investment. It's tried and true, it hasn't broken down, it has great output, great color accuracy, so I have no complaints there. Uh, the GVM's kind of the new kid on the block, and for that price point that's you know not 800 watts, but closer to, you can't complain. Really, it kind of depends on what your needs are. I mean, obviously, if you have a budget, go for the GVM. Um, but let's say you have $2,000. You know, maybe you want that Nanlite because you like their older offerings, like their Pavel Slim. I mean, that's one of those things that if you have lights in the same ecosystem, you can connect them together in an app and it's just a lot user friendly when you're on location and trying to move quicker. If you have multiple different uh, lights with different apps, obviously that's gonna slow things down. But on the flip side, let's say you only have so many lights and you want more output. Well, you could probably get two of those 650s. Now you're up to 1300 watts and you're around the same price point. So the choice is yours. When it comes to high power lights that are gonna be great for interviews, you definitely have options. And now finally you have some budget options. Well, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.